Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at dilations. Dilations are another transformation, but they differ a little bit from translation, rotation, reflection, in that they're not a congruence transformation, meaning we don't end up with a shape that's congruent to our pre-image. In this case, they end up being similar. So a dilation, in general, we're making a shape bigger or smaller. There's a couple pieces that we need in order to do a dilation. First, we need a center of dilation. So we're gonna pick out a point, and then our shape is gonna get bigger or smaller away or towards that center of dilation. We also need a scale factor. The scale factor is gonna tell us how much bigger or how much smaller our shape is going to get. So to help explain some of that, I wanna take a look at a simple example where we're gonna take a segment and we're going to dilate it. So the example says, graph segment AB with A30 and B04 and its image after a dilation centered at the origin with a scale factor K equals two. So we know where our center of dilation is going to be. We're gonna dilate from the origin. And then we are also given our scale factor of two. We tend to use the variable K when we're talking about a scale factor. So let me just plot these two points. So A is three zero, so that puts us right here. And B is zero four, which is up here on the Y axis. So here's B. And let me just connect those together so we can take a look at our segment. All right, so here's our segment AB and we are going to dilate this and it's going to move a little bit away from our center of dilation, which is at the origin. And we wanna dilate it with a scale factor of two. So what that means is that from the origin, from our center of dilation, these points are gonna move twice as far away. So right now A is three units away from the origin. So when I dilate this, if I double that, since my scale factor is two, A prime will be six units away. Another way we can think about this is our points are gonna move a long array. So if I take a ray, go from my center of dilation through one of my points, my point, my image is going to move along this ray further away from that center of dilation. So as I said, if A is three units away, now we're going to double that because the scale factor is two. So that puts A prime at six units away. So that's uh, three, four, five, and six. So here's A prime. Same idea with B. So B is four units away from our center of dilation. We're gonna use our scale factor of two. B prime is gonna end up being eight units away from that center of dilation, which puts it up here. And again, I'll connect these together so we can take a look at the segment. All right, so here's our new image, A prime, B prime. A prime is twice as far away from the center of dilation as A. B prime is twice as far away from that center of dilation as B was. And if we take a look at the length of these segments, so the length of A, B, this one has a length of five. We have a little right triangle with a length of three, four, so that means the hypotenuse has to be five. And if I compare that to A prime, B prime, here we have a length of six, a length of eight. So that means that A prime, B prime has a length of 10. So the scale factor, it's taking our points and it's moving them further away from that center of dilation, but also it tells us how our segments compare. So our image is twice as big as our pre-image. Now, if we just take a look at the points, so A was the point three zero, and we dilated this, and A prime ended up at the point six zero, twice as far away from the origin. B was the point zero four, and after our dilation, we ended up with B prime at zero eight. Again, it's just twice as far away from the origin. But we can write an algebraic rule to help us do a dilation. So if we compare these two points, the only difference is we took three, we doubled it to get six. 
doubling it, our scale factor was two. And same thing for b to b prime, we took this y value, we multiplied by two to get our new y value for our image. So in general, if I have a point x, y, if I wanna do a dilation, I just take my x and my y value, multiply it by whatever our scale factor is, and that will give me my new points. So why don't we take that coordinate rule and let's use that in an example. So a little bit more complicated. This time we'll look at a triangle. So that triangle ABC with A negative three six, B is three six, and C is negative three, negative three. And I wanna do a dilation with a scale factor of one third. So in this case, our scale factor is less than one. So that means our dilation is gonna make our triangle smaller. But let's start by graphing the triangle. So A was at negative three, six, so negative three, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So here's A. B is at three, six. And C is negative three and negative three. So let me connect these together to form our triangle. All right, so here's our triangle. This is what we're starting with. And now let's use our coordinate rule to find out the coordinates for our image. So scale factor of one third, I'm gonna take my x and my y coordinates and I'm gonna multiply them by one third. So I'm gonna end up with a prime is at negative one and two. For b, b was the point three six, taking three and six and multiplying both of those by one third, we end up with the point one two. And our last one for C is negative three, negative three. And if I multiply the, both of those by one third, we get the point negative one, negative one. So let's plot these and take a look at our image after the dilation. So negative one, two. We had the point one, two. And the point negative one, negative one. So this was A prime, this was B prime, and C prime. And now let me just connect those together. All right, so A prime, B prime, C prime, here is our image. And as you can see, the scale factor of one third, it shrunk it down, it moved a little bit closer to our center of dilation, which was the origin. If we compare the segment lengths, if I take a look at my segment AB on my original triangle, this has a length of six. And now the length of that top segment, A prime, B prime, in my image, this has a length of two. So again, comparing those, that's where we can also see our scale factor. So if I take six, multiply it by one third, I get two, which is the length of the, our new segment here. Furthermore, if we take a look at where we dilated, so if I go from my center of dilation, and I put a ray that goes through one of our points. So if I put the ray going through A, we can see that A prime, it moved along that ray just closer to the center of dilation. So it moved along here and that distance, again, is being shrunk down to a third of what we started with. So that's the basics for a dilation. It's not a congruence transformation, but it is a similarity transformation. The triangle that we started with, and if we compare that to the triangle we ended up with, they have the same relative shape, but one is just smaller. So they are similar. Oh.